If you read personal development books, you have surely heard of the law of attraction. This law is the belief that our thoughts and intentions are reflected in our lives. Although this law has no scientific basis, it is very important for its proponents. The law of attraction has gained immense popularity over the years, promising to help individuals manifest their desires and achieve their dreams. It suggests that we can attract these desires into our lives by sending specific messages to the universe. But in this video, we'll explore why sending messages to the universe is not the most effective way to use the law of attraction. Before we move on to why you should avoid sending messages to the universe, let's look at how and when the law of attraction arose. This concept became widespread with the release of the documentary and book, The Secret, in 2006. But the roots of the law of attraction go back much further to the New Thought movement in the 19th century. The New Thought movement argued that people could better understand divine secrets through the power of their thoughts. The founder of the movement, Phineas Quimby, used a form of hypnosis called mesmerism and claimed to be able to heal people through the power of suggestion. According to Quimby's philosophy, all physical illnesses derived from the mind as a result of the patient's false beliefs. By the 1890s, the New Thought movement shifted its attention away from curing disease. Instead, it began to focus on the power of the mind to create material success. The law of attraction is very similar to this movement. The only difference is that it is not religion-centered. It also does not claim that physical illnesses are the result of bad thoughts. The term law of attraction first appeared in 1906 in the books of William Walker Atkinson. Using this term, Atkinson argued that our thoughts emit energy and that this energy attracts similar energies. Atkinson's books played an important role in popularizing the law of attraction. In the 1930s, the American writer Napoleon Hill popularized the law of attraction in his self-help books. Hill believed in the power of our thoughts to shape our lives and wrote books to teach how to use this power. The documentary and book The Secret made the law of attraction a popular topic today. This documentary had a simple and clear message about the power of our thoughts to shape our lives. This message influenced many people and led them to research the law of attraction. How does the law of attraction work? The law of attraction is the belief that our thoughts and emotions attract similar experiences into our lives. According to this law, positive thoughts and emotions attract positive experiences, while negative thoughts and emotions attract negative experiences. The law of attraction is not about goal setting and planning. This law helps us shape our lives by controlling our thoughts and emotions. The basic principles of the law of attraction are these. Focus. The law of attraction works by directing our focus on what we want. The more we focus, the more powerful energy we radiate, and the closer we get to what we want. Doubt, according to the law of attraction, doubt is a negative emotion and prevents us from achieving what we want. Therefore, we should try not to doubt about achieving what we want. Openness. The law of attraction requires us to be open to the universe. This means being open to new opportunities and experiences. The law of attraction is based on the idea that our thoughts and emotions attract similar energies, like magnets. Therefore, positive thoughts and emotions attract positive experiences, while negative thoughts and emotions attract negative experiences. For example, a person who constantly focuses on positive thoughts about wealth and abundance, it is believed that these thoughts will attract similar energies and eventually experience wealth and abundance. The law of attraction is a belief that our thoughts and emotions can shape our lives. By applying this law, it is believed that we can attract the things we want into our lives. Why sending messages to the universe may not work. Lack of clarity. When you send messages to the universe, you may think you are clear about your desires, but the universe does not interpret words or messages the way we do. The universe responds to the energy and vibrations you emit, not to the specific words you use. Therefore, taking action and striving for what you desire will cause you to focus on the feeling and essence of that thing, which is more important than trying to send a specific message. Attachment and resistance. When you send messages to the universe, there is often an underlying sense of attachment and resistance. You can become too attached to the outcome, leading to feelings of frustration and impatience when things don't happen as quickly as you would like. 
This attachment and resistance can block the manifestation process by creating a blockage in the flow of energy. Externalizing power. By sending messages to the universe, you can unintentionally externalize your power and place it outside of yourself. This leads to a feeling of powerlessness and dependence on the universe. The most important thing here is to take the power from within for the goals you want to achieve. You may have noticed this in your life. Usually when you expect a goal or something you want from someone else, the result is disappointment. The law of attraction is the belief that our thoughts and emotions attract similar experiences into our lives. Proponents of this law believe that we can shape our lives through our thoughts and emotions. However, action is what really matters when applying the law of attraction. Our thoughts and feelings alone cannot shape our lives. We need to take action to achieve our goals. For example, I want to have a beautiful body. As soon as I have this desire, motivational energy comes. However, if that energy is not used immediately, over time it turns into stress, and the more stressed I get, the more I get away from my goal because I no longer have the energy to take action for that desired goal. You may have noticed this in your life. Therefore, I have to take action immediately to achieve my goal. Taking action now is an important step towards achieving the goal. However, this alone is not enough. We have to work continuously to achieve our goal. In order to have a beautiful body, we must exercise regularly. Continuity is very important to achieve your goal. Most people want to achieve their goals without any effort by applying the law of attraction. However, this is not possible. I have never seen a person who has achieved their goals just by dreaming, neither in history nor among the successful people I have observed around me. If you look at the biographies of most famous people, you can see that they have worked hard to achieve their goals. Athletes, for example, have both dreamed of their goals and trained for years to achieve success. After all, if it were possible to have a beautiful body or to be rich just by thinking and wanting to have it, it would be very unfair to the people who are working hard to achieve their goals. Ultimately, the law of attraction is a belief that our thoughts and emotions can shape our lives. However, it is absolutely insufficient on its own. In order to achieve our goals, it is very important to take action immediately with the right thoughts and constantly work towards that dream. What do you think about the law of attraction? Yes, I agree that being positive is very important in this life. Because when people think negatively, they cannot take action. Do you have a moment in your life where the law of attraction worked? Please share with us in the comments. As we come to the end of this video, we would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed the content and information we shared with you. If you did, please click the like button below. Your positive feedback motivates us to create more informative and engaging content. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss a video. By subscribing to our channel, you become an active member of our community. Your participation inspires us to create more content that matches your interests and preferences. So thank you for being part of our community. Hope to see you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.